How's it going everybody? This is Crafting S6 Das Coding and today I'm gonna to show you how to add background images in Java in Eclipse as shown in the title. Okay, so for today's video all you need is an ID, a special eclipse in the thing that I use. Okay. First thing uh, first thing um, you need to have an image for this. <laughs> of course, why not? This is style background image, so in some way you need to have an image for this. If not, it, it would it wouldn't work. I guess just search for an image in Unsplash. Okay, so in Unsplash you can have a free high resolution photos as you as shown in as as shown near, and this and 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 that's and that's free high resolution photos is free with no fees at all you don't need to pay for any for any of them to download it in and then and, and, and some of it have license free so you, you can have it for your own um thing or, or you can come uh, or you can use it for com commercial works so today i'm going to pick one of this Photos. Let's let's look for a thing that really caught our caught our eyes. Foxy, <laughs> image of a, of a fox. Great. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. We can we can just download them straight away. It's free. It's a free photo. It's a high resolution photo, and you can download them, and you can download any of them with a license free. Yeah, so you can use them for commercial, like yeah, like I do. Okay, so let's open this, this containing folder. Okay, once you have, once you have that downloaded, I I mean you don't need to download the pictures. This is just I'm just proving that you can use any pictures from anywhere and anything. Okay, so after that, I we could just close our browser, and you know I, I could use this picture or this or this picture or this pictures or this pictures. I'm just showing you that it would it could work with any pictures even from the browser yeah so there there we go there's, there's the image now what we what we want to do is we need to name it into into a more simple name so you know when we put it into the code we we, we don't confuse our heads because it's going to be a little, a little bit complicated so let's just rename it to Fox and it's wait, and it's an is an jpeg image so yeah we don't need to convert them anymore so after that <laughs> we go to the coding part yes finally okay and the coding part is any of you that probably have an experience in coding we need to make a, a new class a new project in eclipse yeah, I mean you don't need to have a new project. You can just make an a, a class in one of these projects. As you can see, I have a lot of projects in here. This is my special project. I'm I'm creating a game named Pong. I'm gonna show you in a later video. Uh, but for for the sake of for the sake of simplicity, let's just make a new project so we don't we don't we don't confuse them. We don't mix them with the other class in the other projects. So let's create a new Java project. As in, an instance for that because this is literally a Java or E project name. Let's let's name it background background image. Okay, Java is eight one point eight. That basically means Java eight. And next, yes, finish. Okay, now as you can see here, we have this project now. And instead of this project, we need to create a class that will run our that will create our programs and run it at the same time. So in this project, we need to create a new class. And we're going to name the class. Let's let's name it. Let's 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 make a simple name out of it. Back image. There we go. Finish. Now we have this class. Now we have this class. 
name back image and inside the class we're going to have everything that we need to make a, a background image shown in our program okay wait a minute no 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 I landed everything else okay so first off, we need to create a J frame. A basic J frame basically is a frame, or yeah, it's basic. It's basically a frame that you use for your programs. It's I mean, it's like a window. This thing right here, here, it's a frame of this program. It's 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 the window of the program. So we need to create the frame, so we can display and so we can dis output it into our our computer. It's in JFrame, and now we need to import it. Out origin. No, we don't need an event. Okay. Let's. Oh yeah, we need to import one more thing. Java. This is swing. What is this? Unused import. <laughs> okay, <coughs> we're going to need that later, but not now. After that, inside this back image. Okay, so besides the back image. Okay, inside this back image, first we need to create the constructor for the back image. It's, it's basically a backbone for the program so let's create our constructor put that back image there we go now we have the constructor uh, yeah I forgot to add an exit it's exit Java okay public back image and then we need to create the main method. So the main method is actually the main method that will run our that will run the call and run our objects in there. So we need to find main. That's a pencil in there. Um, and inside this train. Okay. Okay. So. Now we have the framework for our program. This is literally the basics for all of them. And inside this, we're going to continue on and we'll. We're basically going to add an, a background image to our program. Before we are going to add any background image to our program, first we need to create a frame. First, we need to create and output a frame from the program and display it to the computer. So, first. Now we have we already have the J frame. Now we just need to create create it inside of our constructor, and so by that we can we can call it and run it from the main method. Okay, inside the public back image, we do. Well, you you could you could do J frame equals new J frame frame no no J frame frame equals new J frame. Like that, but for the sake of simplicity, this is because we already extend JFrame in here. We can we could just we could just create JFrame itself, um, straightforward. It's like this. Uh, I'll show you. Frame section, set title. We could we could create JFrame in straightforward. This is not recommended because. You could have middle of a frames or, or or anything else, but this is this the simplicity for the sake of simplicity of this video. Set title. Um <laughs> Fox image, yes. And then semicolon. And after that we need to set the size. Let's set the size about um five hundred times five hundred pixels set location yeah. so 
application may let to to uh, so it won't uh, it won't it won't stay in it won't stay in a part it won't stay in just one part of of the window no set default close operation t frame dot exit or close so when we have this so when ha when we have this code right here um this this code works for when we need to close our application because without this code this you know this icon when we click it this eclipse will close as you can see but without this code when you click this icon the program will not do anything it will, it will just stay visible it will not it will not exit the program so this is this is literally very important to our programs and finally set visible of course if you don't set it visible then who's gonna, then who's gonna see it I'm not going to be able to see it it's visible true okay here we go and we're done okay let's create an image section from this now on this will be the image editing section okay before we can um, add any images to our frame well let's just let's just check if the frame works nope of course not because we <laughs> we haven't we haven't called it yet from our main method there we go <laughs> it wouldn't work because we haven't called it from our main method okay let's just let's just call it and run it nice actually i have missed a little bit of important things okay run the programs okay so when you create something like uh type something like new back image this will actually call this thing and it will run every single code inside of it okay so that's base basically like that and we, now we can run programs and the frame will show there we go now we have our frames the next thing we need to do we're going to add an image into it okay let's close this into the image because before we need before we add any images we're going we need to add a G label into it okay so G label l1 l1 and now let's go back to the image sections and now we need to set layout to the new border layout. So the, lay the layout inside the frame it will be square. Border layout. There we go. And then set content pane. New now inside this content pane. Um, inside, I mean inside this will have a content which the content is the J label. And with 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 inside the J label we have an image uh, that that is that is that is this image okay so okay I forgot to there we go is that is that better okay so set visible true and also it can contain new J label and then we create new image icon. The image icon is in C. Two two back backslashes users. Backslashes again. Fifteen at six. Fifteen at six. Music. Uh, I accidentally put it into the music folder. Fox .gpg. There we go. And then we add a semicolon there. Don't forget it. There we go. Done. Okay. For that, we need to set the layout for the G label. New flow. Flow layout. There we go. And then L1 equals. We we now we instantiate them in G label. 
add L1. Now we'll, it will add L1 into the frame. There we go. That's basically it. But it's a uh, we need to set the size for the deal for the shape. Size 500 by 500. Yeah, there we go. Done. That's it. Now let's just decrease the size a little more. Okay, that's it. That is how you. Okay, before we said I said ending. Let's just open this and let's see if the codes work. There we go. <laughs> ah, yay, it works. Now, as you can see, as a background image inside this, and and since it's an HD pictures, it's, it is a very big pictures, and it doesn't fit inside this frame. So, so the frame, so it shrinks. Okay, so but if we maximize. You can, as you can see, there's the pic there's the image of the fox. Oh yeah, fr and by the way, the default close operations is just like this. When I click this exit button, it will exit the programs. There we go, and it and it and it and it, and it, and it also terminate the program. Let's let's just see if I don't have the default close operations. I will. I can't let's see. I can't. There we go. Okay, so I need to close from there. Okay, so I guess that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, comment and subscribe, and be sure to leave a like and a comment. And see you again in the next video. And until then, happy coding. Peace. See you guys. Coding.